Today we're at the hangar. We're just about ready to take off and head towards Ontario. The idea behind this flight is that we're going to run over to Ontario and shoot the RNAV uh, approach in there. And then we're gonna come in and we're gonna do it with Flight Sim 2020. We're gonna actually see how close it really is to flying the real approach. So follow along and I hope you enjoy the video. Victor, 1653 Zulu. Wind 280 at 14. Gust 18. We're just capturing ATIS locally here in Boise in the real aircraft so we can compare it to the sim. Temperature 2 4. 2.3. Altimeter 2 9 9 6. ILS runway 28 right and visual approach is in use. Landing and departing runway 28 right. No. Boise Airport Information Yankee 1500 Zulu. Point 255 Fentry. Visibility. And this is the sim getting ATIS on the ground in Boise. in the real aircraft we're picking up taxi information from ground. Boise ground Beechcraft Alpha Sierra X-ray Golf with Yankee request taxi for takeoff departing speed. They've done a pretty good job here in giving back a response, but unfortunately the response would leave you dead ended on a taxiway that didn't exist in the sim. Ontario Municipal Airport, Ontario, Oregon. Automated weather observation, 1725 Zulu. Wind 300 at 19. And here we're picking up ADAS 4 Ontario while we're in the air. Unfortunately, the flight simulator was unable to do the same thing, so we couldn't showcase it. Altimeter 2 Next, we're going to showcase loading the approach in the GTN 750. Procedure approach for 33 GPS LPV. And we're going to take the transition of Pharma. And we'll load and activate the approach. This has us in Ontario on the 33 LPV approach. Parmo at 6,500, which is where we're at. We'll have an LPV down to Oyubu of 5,000. Final approach fix a Yenner, 4,200 at or below 4,200. And Aiki, 32 at or below, at or above rather, 3,200. And then runway 33. And let's take a look at the map. That looks good. I would agree that looks like our approach. I should have said uh, K-E, I believe is the way that's pronounced. But loading the same thing in the G-1000 on the simulator, we've already got Ontario. We select the RNAV approach for runway 33. And then we'll select the transition just like we did for Parmo. And then we'll come down and we'll activate the approach. It's a little tricky to run these knobs, so we run through that a couple times before we accept it. Hit the inner button on the G-1000, and we can see here that it loads up the approach. The weird part in the flight simulator is that it constantly loads this user waypoint. And no matter what you do, if you delete it, it deletes the entire approach. So we were unable to do that portion of it, um, and we were unable to set VNAVs because every time we activated a VNAV, it also failed. The direct two function also didn't seem to work as well as it should. Here we're simply displaying out the nose of the aircrafts in the same general vicinity on the way to Ontario. You can see the terrain out in front of us and the similar mappings and buildings. Nav coming on. Vertical track. Now just for comparison, we're looking out the co-pilot window, right wing. You can see the mapping of the train is very similar between the flight simulator and the real aircraft. Now we should be looking for that transition. 
And that's just the Oyubu matching on both aircraft. Again, out the nose at the same location. You can see the airport in front of us. There's the gunner. 4200. Air traffic, arrow 376 on a three mile final, 33 on the Arnav, 33 approach, Ontario. And again, just a comparison on the final for three miles between both aircraft. Very similar mapping. You'll see it gets better as we get closer to the airport. 24, 43. Here you can see the buildings that are very, very close between the real aircraft and the roads and the simulator and the roads. At last, we thought it'd be great to show a taxi out at the Ontario airport between the real aircraft and the simulator. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, hit that alert button.